Hi crafty friends, Jen Cassell here. I am back with a design team tutorial for Chibitronics. If you haven't tried Chibi, it is so much fun. There are LED lights that are super flat that make it great for paper crafting. I like to do 3D paper crafts, so this fits right in. They're nice, they're lightweight. Don't be intimidated by making a circuit. Everyone is a beginner and you'll be pleasantly surprised at how easy it is to do. I'm going to walk you through a step-by-step -step tutorial. For this project, I did this adorable skull box. As you can see, lots of room. This measures about six by five, so it's a pretty big box. Uh, I will list the SVG files that I used in the description box. I'll list this skull as well as the bow that I used. The rest of them are just uh, random that I found on Cricut Design Space. For the circuit, you're of course going to want some LED stickers. For this project, I just simply used some white ones. I used some conducive fabric tape, and you may find the stencil handy. I really do like using the stencils. It makes placing my lights really easy to do on my circuit. And of course, you're also going to want a three volt C battery to complete this. So if you're interested in the full tutorial, let's follow along. So let's go over the SVG file. Uh, you'll notice that I did change the face a bit in the SVG file. It was super simple to do. You're simply going to highlight the image that has the face on it. You're then going to go to the bottom corner contour it's on your right and that will just make it a solid image then i just added two circles and an upside down heart to create my face shape you're going to attach those and then cut and you will get this image here the black image i did add a couple of dots right here that are going to be the eyes and then I added an additional white piece for um, the box itself. In the original SVG file, they just used the black for the front of the box. I wanted to add the white so that this will uh, sit on top and then this on top of this. You're also going to have the two side pieces. I have already uh, started folding these over. You are going to want to use your bone folder to really give those edges a good crease. I never forget this step when I'm making a 3D SVG file because it really does add to the finished piece. I have also cut a few added extras. I did these cute little scallop circles that I found in Design Space and those are going to go around my eyes. I cut this spooky cute. Once again, this is an SVG file from Cricut. I will link everything below. I did do a couple of spider webs. I did one bigger one and then two of these smaller ones. I cut a couple of spiders as well as some bats. And I also cut a very large bow. So I will link the SVG file that I used for this. This is one of my favorite bows. So to get started, you're going to lay your pieces down end to end and using some glue. I like to use Barely Art for this. It's a nice quick drying glue and it dries super thin. So I'm going to add some glue to this tab and then line this up. You can use your bone folder to really press that down. Let's grab one of our face pieces and you will also want your back piece. If you didn't do so in design space, you're going to want to take your face and punch your dots according to where you want your lights to show through. If you're doing it in design space, it's super easy to just attach some circles where you want your eyes to go. 
I'm going to take a little pencil and just trace where my two eye components are. Now it's time to create our circuit. I'm going to start by placing my stencil down right in the center and drawing where I'm going to put my LED light. Next, I'm going to take a scrap of three and a quarter by two inch piece of paper and fold it in half. This is how we're going to create our battery holder. I'm going to place my battery holder right here at the top. Right in here is where my battery is going to be. And this is going to be my negative. This will be my plus. Next, I'm going to take some of my tape and then just press it down into the center. Bring it out just a tad. I'm go in the opposite direction of where I'm going, pull up and then down. Once again, I'm going to hit that curve, pull it up. I'm using my tweezer to flatten it back down. Run it all the way across. Just use your scissors to cut it off. Now we want to do our positive side. Run that tape along the positive side. Start it right here in the middle. I'm gonna bring it around like this. Once again, fold up into the opposite direction of where you want it to go and bring it down, bringing my tape up. So I'm folding in the opposite direction and then just running that tape along the bottom. Once we have our tape on, we can grab some of our LED light. Try not to touch the sticker portion. really want it to maintain its stickiness. Let's check to make sure our circuit works. I'm going to insert the battery with the negative side down, positive side up, and yep, our lights are working. We've made a circuit. It's pretty easy, right? Before I adhere my battery inside, I'm actually going to build my box. So I'm going to work from the center out. I'm going to add some of my Barely Art glue. And put this guy right here. Grab your, grab your other face and add glue. Really make sure that your glue is dry before moving on to the next tab. By using your work surface, you can really clamp down those edges and make sure that everything is glued down before you continue on to the next tab. I am going to leave this open so that my box can be open from the top. Again, grab your glue start working on the other side. You can start working on your tabs for the other side. And I am just going to pinch from the inside out. Because your box is open at the top, you can fit your hand in there to really press down those sides. You can also flip it over and use your bone folder to really press down. Now I'm going to work on the other side. 
add some glue to these tabs. I'll start with this top one. To make sure that everything is, is lined up. And then I'm going to stick my hand in and start pinching the other tabs. Bone folder is really gonna be handy for these last couple of tabs. Okay. You can just tuck this in to the top. I went ahead and added some double-sided tape to either side of my conducive tape to hold my battery in. So I'm going to place my battery negative side down. And I've also added just a strip of foam tape. And it's just going to be a stopper for my on off mechanism. Went ahead and added some foam cubies to the top. And now I am just going to line up this black layer right here. I added an additional layer of foam. And now I'm going to place my face on top. Next, I will add my scalloped circles. Oh, she's coming together so cute. I love this. Let's work on our bow. So this bow is fairly simple to do. You're going to want to grab your bone folder and curve. I'm going to add a little hot glue and bring this over to the center. Do the exact same thing on this side. Come on over here, add some glue to your tab and bring it over like this. Do the exact same thing with this one. Depending on how far apart you want your tails is how you are going to glue these together. I want my tails a little further apart, so I am going to add hot glue so that it looks like this. this to the top right like this grab my center and wrap it around secure with a little hot glue fabulous bow right fabulous now I'm even going to kind of pull these up a little bit I love a good volume on my bows I am going to add just a little bit of hot glue to this you can add your sentiment with some foam strips I'll use some hot glue to just slide these little spider webs in. Okay, so now I am going to work on attaching some of my bats. Um, all you're going to need is a scrap piece of acetate. I don't know if you can tell, but this is just a scrap piece of thinly cut acetate. So what I've done is grabbed my hot glue, placed it on the center of my bat, and just attach the top. Work quickly, because hot glue dries quickly, and just place another bat on top. Now I'm going to use a little of my hot glue. I'm gonna pop it in between a layer of my bow, like so. And it can kind of just flap in the wind. I'm gonna do another one. There we go. Let it just flat. We'll add one more. This one I'm not going to double up. I'm just going to pull the wings forward so it looks like it's mid-flight and add it right there. And I have a little spidey that I've layered. I just cut two of them layered them up. I did a black foam and then white foam to attach. Now for an on off switch for your circuit before gift giving so the battery doesn't run out, you can just slide in a piece of paper to break your circuit. Just like that. Okay. Just like that. And then when you're ready to use it, there we go. So thank you so much for watching.